Only fans of girls who became criminals. 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 Boom. Boom. In February of 2023, OnlyFans saw approximately 1 billion monthly visits from users worldwide. Holy the website moly. launched in 2016 and is a social and video platform that allows creators to monetize their content via paid subscriptions and tips. In recent years, the London-based platform has become increasingly popular for hosting adult content. The Wait, it came from London? Oh my gosh. So today, we'll be focusing on the darker side of the site. Welcome to OnlyFans girls who became horrible criminals. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Ah, what up? Different, ah! different room. Ah, this is scary. Yeah, like I said in my last video, moved out of my mom's house. Thank you guys once again. Give me that opportunity. I know it's it's nice. gonna take it's gonna take some moved time to get used to. Believe me. But yeah, we got moved. the YouTube achievements up there. Here, I'll show you guys. Y'all see that? My YouTube achievements wow. up there. We got Danny in the background, like always. I mean, as time goes on, I guess I'm gonna be adding more stuff to my room. But I'm gonna get a different light though, because I feel like this light is. It's shining downward, so you see like a shadow on my neck. But anyway, we're back. We're finally back, man. I, I'm I'm so happy to do these regular videos. <laughs> Danny took some DeVito, time off. The whole movie yeah. process was crazy. But very quickly, I'm gonna give you guys some announcements really quick. So the last restocks of ear candy CDs and cassettes are now up on the oh website. Oh my god! They're Look at that plug signed, chat. Like, it's last a time plug. I signed the plastic on them, but these are actually Buy signed his on the thing itself. Right so now. sorry to do that about the others. I mean, you, I still signed it though. I still signed it. Just signed the plastic. And also the Earl plushie sold out in under 24 oh, hours. Oh, that's thank cute. Thank you guys so much. Look, I even cried on my Instagram story isn't that crazy y'all really Aww. ride for me and that is crazy thank you guys so when much they will have merch with chat. the whole support on earl and the last thing it. is that my podcast with my friends the crew podcast is finally back on my second channel that's really <laughs> it for now. now let's talk about only fans girls who became horrible criminals we also have an exclusive oh, interview with an only fans model who is actually at the top 3.2 percent so if you think that sounds interesting make sure to stick around what if you get older and you have kids and your kids end up seeing that what if they look up your name out of curiosity on google and they see you sucking or i would die i would be mortified i don't know how she feels maybe she doesn't feel anything or they're they have a bully at school and their bully's like hey look it's your mom sucking what do you do? What's the plan? She's also, laughing. I was debating on whether I should name this video OnlyFans Models Who Became Sucking Horrible Criminals or OnlyFans Girls. I think I chose OnlyFans Girls, but I am very aware OnlyFans for any gender. I just want to make that clear. But yeah, that's really it. Let's head on to the video. Courtney Clenny. When it comes to OnlyFans models committing a crime, one of the most prominent cases is that of Courtney Clenny, aka Courtney Taylor. The case contains horrific details about how a tumultuous relationship ended with Clenny facing possible life in prison. In an incident that occurred on April 3rd, 2022, between 4:43. Does she murk him? That is just pathetic. I wonder what. PM and 4:56 PM. Clenny, age 26 at the time, was I know this to chick. Her boyfriend, 27-year-old cryptocurrency else. investor Christian Toby Obumselli, to death. The knife, which she initially claimed to have thrown from 10 feet away, penetrated Obamselli's chest right above where he had a tattoo of her name. The crime occurred at the Lover's Miami apartment. Nah, she did not throw that thing. She stabbed him. There's no way. She accurately did that to him? That accurately of a throw from 10 feet away? Nah. Where they had just moved in at the start of 2022. Despite being no new to way. the residence, the police had already visited them twice due to the I neighbors raising it. domestic disturbance complaints. The series of images of the crime scene, released in Monka. November 2022 by Miami-Dade prosecutors, Monka. revealed gory details of the incident. Clenny is seen donning blood-drenched sweatpants while all Classic case of don't stick your dick in crazy. Some people can hide their crazy really well, though, to be fair. Also being covered in blood on her hands, feet, and part of her nightgown. The images also show some love letters from Obam Selly to Clenny. It seemed he loved her a lot. To my love from your love. Oh my god, that is so sad. He has nice handwriting. Yeah, that's very sad. Given that one of the letters starts with, You're the sweetest and most annoying woman I know. The letter then proceeds- <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Annoying? <laughs> You're the most sweetest and annoying woman on earth. Wait, chat calls me annoying too. Oh my god. Am I crazy? Only fans equals crazy 100%. True into a detailed profession of love where he even describes her as his quote personal sunset moments after the stabbing Aww. at 4 57 p.m clenny made a 911 call and can be heard apologizing to the boyfriend even as she pleaded with the operator saying my boyfriend is dying of a stab wound during the call the boyfriend can be heard in the background crying out oh 
my god. That he couldn't feel his arm. When the police arrived at the scene, they found her holding the bleeding boyfriend in her arms. There was blood everywhere, on the kitchen island, in the master bedroom, the bathroom, and the back of the living room. As they attended to Obam Selly, she was ordered to sit out on the balcony where she began kissing her dogs. She was later questioned for about four hours at the local police station, got admitted to a psychiatrical ward, but then was released just two days later. The release was due to the view that Clenny claimed it was self-defense. In a weird twist of events, what? What? And just after killing Obamselli, <laughs> Clenny made wire transfers totaling $1.15 million to her father's bank account. They argued what? that the money was enough to move out of the country. Of course it is. It's always the money, bros. Country, and that her job didn't tie her down to a specific location. It's worth noting that Clenny had made a lot of money through her OnlyFans career at that point. In 2021, she made $1.8 million. Just That's a year a earlier, lot, in 2020, bro. she made $966,692. Yeah. And in 2022, before shutting down her account, she had made $327,221. She but could quit and just be set for life, bros. Oh my god. Income explains why they lived in a very luxurious address and a 22nd floor with three bedrooms and a great view of Biscayne Bay. After her release, she fled Miami to be closer with her family and on June 17th, 2022, two months after Obam Selly's death, she bought a 3,080 square foot, $1.3 million luxurious home with a pool and hot tub in Lake Point, Texas near her parents. Countering the murder claim, her lawyers argued that she did act in self-defense after Obam Selly had grabbed her by the throat, but a judge said that claim was incredible. The lawyers also stated that just a day earlier, he had stalked and beat her. This was revealed in released police body cam footage after the officers had responded to a domestic strife involving- Okay, but that does- does- what? What? A couple. Clenny was once again arrested on August 10th, 2022, where she had gone for substance abuse. The arrest was after more oh. evidence had been collected by Obamselli's lawyer. Also, it's almost like Obamselli knew things were going to take a turn for the worst because he left behind a lot of evidence that was used against Clenny. A series of phone recordings from Obamselli were presented to the court as proof of Clenny's deeply toxic behavior. The clips include her yelling racial slurs, screaming, demeaning, and cursing him out. In one of the recordings, God. she's her telling him, man up, bitch, and shut up and let me slap you, dumbass. I don't know why I said it so, like, aggressive. <laughs> the reason? Well, he apparently didn't tell her that he said hello to a female acquaintance while on a bicycle ride. She even yep, yep, control freak. What a horrible fucking human being commands him, find my fucking phone and charge it. Larry Hanfield, Obamselli's family attorney, said he found the recordings as evidence of someone who is, quote, unhinged and out of control. Further evidence that she was the aggressor is a video <gasps> of the couple from February 21st, 2020. Look at, look at his um uh, body language, too. He's cowering from her. He's trying to go away. He's not fronting on her, too. That's sad. Two in their apartment's elevator, where she is seen attacking yeah, he's him defensive. and trying to pull his hair. Also, in an exchange over the phone, Clenny once told Obama, "I shit. actually, literally, fucking want to kill you," which is a. Uh... Not gonna look too great in court. Uh, Clenny now faces second degree murder for the crime and is awaiting trial in Should have been first degree, bitch. Abigail White. This case focuses on Abigail White, aka Fake Barbie, aka Mitzi Lewis, a British OnlyFans model who, following a really toxic relationship and a painful breakup, stabbed and killed her boyfriend. Why is it always toxic relationships, man? Bradley Lewis on March 25th, 2021. Before we look into the highly contrasting upbringings of these two lovers, let's dive straight into what happened on that specific day that Bradley died. Earlier in the day, Abigail and Bradley met in a public park, with a meeting having been summoned by Bradley, who had resolved that he no longer wanted to be with Abigail. He informed her of the decision and she was enraged. She clearly didn't take kindly to the news. However, despite the breakup, moments after 5 p.m. What an apt photo. Blood everywhere and she's got devil horns on him and he's got a black eye. In a stab wound? Damn, ominous. The couple, together with Abigail's friends, were captured by a surveillance camera going into the Horseshoe Pub and then proceeding to the beer garden area. As they began partying, Abigail started acting weird. She was angry, short-tempered, and caused problems with other customers. This was probably the influence of mixing a line of coke and alcohol. And also the- <laughs> Of course it is, man. The pain of the decision that Bradley made earlier of at the park, you know, is. she got broken up with. And Bradley wasn't doing so well himself. A man found him crying in the men's bathroom, claiming that he was scared of Abigail and didn't know what to do. <gasps> and he also thought that if he left, she would take her own life. I'm guessing- Oh no, not the, not the toxic turnaround. I'm gonna do it. If you leave, the guys, I've, no, no, don't, don't. I've experienced this first how don't fall for that shit. It's toxic as fuck.
And she had a history of claiming to do that. It was clearly a messy situation, and the evening, already riddled with chaos, got even worse. Abigail got into a fight with one of the customers. She slapped him, and he slapped her back, causing her to fall. She then walked back to Bradley, took his drink from him, and threw it in his face because he didn't defend her. She also spat in the face of a friend who told her to stop doing Bradley. Shut Maybe up. tired of the chaos, they all wanted to go home, and so at around 7:50 p.m., Alfie, a mutual friend of the couple, gave them a ride. They argued all the way back, and on arrival, as Abigail stormed into the house, Bradley, who had hung back for a bit, said to Alfie, I'm dead when I get home. Barely 20 minutes after Alfie departed at 8, 10 p.m., emergency services got called by a neighbor, Mrs. Oh Kundi. My God. Mrs. Kundi had already responded to a scream from Abigail, and on entering the house, she had found Bradley lying on the kitchen floor with blood covering the hallway and living room. A knife oh was my God! Also on the radiator. That's Abigail traumatizing. Abigail claimed that Bradley had stabbed himself after a heated argument. He st stabbed himself? <laughs> What? You have to be on so many drugs to do that voluntarily. And even then, I don't even know. I think there's like a thing called human preservation. Story that police didn't believe. Yeah, sure, sure, Bradley buddy. Was pronounced dead at 1.30 a.m. The knife had penetrated his heart. All right, now let's go back to their childhood backstories. Bradley was a gentle soul all the way from childhood. He grew up in a loving home with his childhood football manager. This goes back into the childhood. The, 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 the chat told me I'm scared. The ominous music is getting to me. You're saying he was one of the nicest kids you could ever meet. The, and on the, the other the, hand, the, 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 Abigail grew up in an unstable home. While aged just four years, her parents split up due to domestic violence. Even worse, her Aww. stepdad, who came into her life thereafter, was physically abusive towards her, so she ended up in foster care. All along, she had behavioral problems in school, and due to mental and emotional instability, she got prescribed antidepressants at just 13 years old. Abigail's path ended up with her doing OnlyFans, where, despite a good start, making 60,000 pound in the first year, her popularity Damn. dwindled leading to an income of about 12,000 pound a year later. She, however, managed to survive by relying on Bradley's income. The two had been an item for a while since they dated from back when Bradley- Reported him to the JV? What's J- GV, what's that? Any British people? GV, what does that mean? Like my nose. Junior Varesty JV. Juvie? Nah. When your man pisses you off, so you report him to the GV. Job blow? No. John Cena. Tammy, translate. I don't know what that means. The government? I don't know. Okay, we'll figure it out. Someone will figure it Never out. managed to survive by relying on Bradley's income. The two had been an item for a while since they dated from back when Bradley was just 16 years old. Wait, the best daddy you could ever ask for? You wanted a princess after two boys, so I gave him one. Wait, they had three kids? Oh, that's horrifying. They even had three children together. However, their relationship, which Abigail termed very rough and controlling, was mostly turbulent with allegations of cheating. This is well evident given they had a fourth child that wasn't Bradley's. Following the death, Abigail pleaded guilty to manslaughter. She refused to take full Once a hoe, always a hoe. Responsibility, despite the amount of evidence against her. Phone records, for instance, revealed that she had sent hundreds of threatening messages to Bradley. One message from February 7th, 2021 read, I swear to God, I will stab you. There was also a damning voice recording where Abigail told a friend, I pulled a 29 year old when I was 16. Bros. Excuse me? Now that is manipulation. That Bradley could only tell the truth when she, quote, beat the fucking daylights out of him. Obviously, I have no limit when I get angry. And, like, obviously, he said that I need help with that. Because people are generally saying to me, one of you are going to end up dead. Like, and I fully believe that I'm quite capable of killing him if he hurts me again. And, or I'm gonna end up being in prison. But I don't believe a word that comes out of that boy's mouth. I have to beat the living daylights out of him for him to tell me the truth. And he still don't tell me the truth. He only tells me the truth when he thinks I'm gonna kill him. Like when I get a knife out, Like when I stab him, like, oh, I just, I oh, I just want to kill him. I just, I can't control myself. Erm. Got this kid. Equally disturbing evidence is that just uh, about a week before the fatal stabbing on March 19th, 2021, Abigail had stabbed him in the arm, causing a mass. When I stopped taking my meds and have a bad bipolar disorder episode. Guys, don't. 
if you have it that bad, you should probably take your meds. If you have really, really extreme BPD, please take your meds. It's not good for you or anyone else. Massive wound. Bradley had covered for her lines the doctor. Alana, you're aware actions have consequences, correct? Cause this bitch didn't. I shit on your floor. There are no consequences. Saying that he had an accident at work. So, where did the case end up? Well, in 2022, Abigail got sentenced to life in prison, which means that she'll be jailed for at least 18 years before being legible for parole. Good. Jeannie Exum. So the two cases we just Should have put her in jail forever, but, you know, some leniency probably because she has kids or something talked about have something in common that being that they stabbed someone to death and i don't know why that's a i don't want to say popular but kind of popular way that only fans criminals have killed people i don't know i really don't know how else to say it but this is another one this is another stabbing one in a strangely familiar fashion to the other two women love stabbing and poisoning they don't like um using guns and stuff at least from what i've read it, it's something to do with like the female psyche yeah women are averse to using guns our aggressor, Jeannie Exum, an Instagram and OnlyFans model based in Manhattan, stabbed her boyfriend, Francis Amore, following a domestic dispute. The incident occurred on Monday, October 18th, 2021. Oh my god, and they have TikToks together! Oh my god! At 6.45 p.m. at their luxurious apartment. They lived at 10th Avenue, Hudson Yards. In Britain, all they can do is stab. Yeah, but this previous case was a stabbing too. The Courtney Clinet one, that one's a stabbing. That's one in, that one's in America. Town in New York City. The couple had been in a heated argument before Exum took a knife and stabbed Amor. At the time, Exum was 22, while Amor was 30 years old. After being stabbed, Amor staggered into the apartment's lobby, where a doorman noticed him and made a 911 call. Both the NYPD and EMS responded to the call, arriving at the location shortly after. He was America. taken to the NYC Health and Hospital Bellevue and remained in stable condition. Exum had stabbed them both you in the saw arm this one, and Mia? the back. And luckily, Amor, who went by the name Bo- Dude, this is the OnlyFans girls one. Yeah, the OnlyFans girls that became horrible cr criminals. Yeah. Her baby boy Pahules suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Following the incident, Exum appeared in the New York criminal court where she was charged with a class D felony, assault with the intent to cause physical injury along with a weapon. Interestingly, she didn't even seem phased by the incident since she even took a photo- Psychopath. Where she was smirking next to an NYPD detective. <laughs> Dude, that's just, that's psychopathy. Psychopathy? Yeah. She on her stories and captioned it. They took my phone, y'all. I'm on the trap right now. And now they don't stop me and I get locked up. She said Akon's locked up as the, you know, the Instagram music thing for the story. In an equally carefree fashion, while leaving the courthouse, she had told a reporter, subscribe to my OnlyFans. But such behavior is no surprise as it's consistent with her social media personality. On OnlyFans, for instance, she describes herself as a, quote, free spirit from Alabama with a loud mouth and dirty mind. Alabama! <laughs> the free spirit ideology is probably why she was so popular both on Instagram and OnlyFans. On yeah, OnlyFans, she had been charging $20 per subscription, but she Alabama. put a 50 sale to thousands of her fans. On Instagram, where she often posted lewd photos of herself, she had 35,000 followers and gained 10,000 more following the stabbing incident. Kakona epic moment. How lewd were the photos? <laughs> well, just a month before the incident, she had garnered a lot of followers after posting a photo where she flashed her breasts in front of an NYPD car with the caption, Caption this. Her following has grown significantly. <laughs> This. significantly in the last two years as she currently has over 290 wait she didn't get wait she didn't go to jail for stabbing someone to death 3,000 Instagram followers and about 641,000 likes on her over 1,600 posts on OnlyFans. Exum, while not having a criminal record at the time, was, however, not new to violent behavior. In October 2018, while living with her cousin in Phoenix, Alabama, in a fight- Oh, he lived and it was just a guy? Oh, he lived. He didn't die. He lived and she got a felony? She didn't go to prison for that? That is so heinous, bro. Over money, she hit her with a liquor bottle I, on I the head, he knocking her to the ground. Her cousin, Marlo, never pressed charges despite suffering facial bruises, cuts on the arms, a ripped nail, and a death threat. Of course she got into a fight with her cousin. Of course she did. She's from Alabama. So, did Exum get sentenced for her boyfriend stabbing? Well, just like her cousin, her boyfriend ended up dropping the charges against her. She was Why? in jail for just a night. Later, in an interview with Barstool Sports, she said that in hindsight, the situation was more serious than she had thought, and she learned her lesson. 
Titus yeah, Lowe. Man. All right, y'all. Remember when I said I wanted to name the video OnlyFans Models instead of OnlyFans Girls? We actually have a guy on this list. Yeah, oh, we shit. are going to differentiate. Equality. OnlyFans Girls just sounds better as a title. That's it. All right, moving on from the stabbing stories. This next one is a great example of why being aware of your country's laws, however absurd they may be, can save you jail time. The story is about one of Singapore's most successful OnlyFans creators with over 210,000 social media followers, Titus Lowe. Now, despite Holy the large moly. following, the well-known influencer was quoted saying that he had been struggling with money in the period period leading up to 2021. He had thus decided to join OnlyFans model. in order to improve his earnings. He signed up for the platform around April 2021 and began posting content. His content did well since between April and October 2021, he made 240,979 US dollars from his 1900 subscribers. This success, Holy however, lasted crap. until October 2021, when a person reported to the police that they found a video of Lowe performing a sex act on their 12-year-old niece's phone. Immediately, the police responded, confiscated his phone, iPad, and the details of his OnlyFans account. I think it's worth noting that he didn't send any videos to any minors. The video just ended up being found on the girl's phone. I don't know how she got it. On October okay. 11th, he was warned to not access Kinda his sus. account anymore or they would press criminal charges against him. He defied this order on October 12th and so the police returned to his house on November 2nd, 2021 and took away his spare phone and the OnlyFans account details again. The investigation went on but Lowe still accessed his account and posted more content. On December 29th, 2021, he was Singapore police is not point guys he was to present himself to the police station and was arrested and locked up recalling the arrest he said i felt very scared and the way they treated me it was like i had done something very bad at one point he also told the bbc whenever i read bbc now i just think of better black community shout out kendrick curry videos are fucking hilarious anyway he told the bbc in my case it's a consensual thing between adults so i didn't think there was any problem despite believing that there was no problem he got charged with transmitting obscene materials and failing to comply with the order restricting him from accessing his account transmitting obscene materials carries an up to three month jail term while the second offense carries up to six months in jail and a five thousand dollar fine singapore's penal code clearly states that it's illegal to transmit any obscene material electronically as well as to receive or take part in profits generated from the transmission of you can't have only fans in singapore such material it's safe to say that Lowe had ticked off the police because <laughs> despite the october 11th warning he had used his secondary email to log back into the only fans account so while the investigations were going on he posted yeah. eight more obscene photos and videos and withdrew a large amount of money from the platform via a friend's bank account the police noticed that they couldn't log into his only fans account and that's why they returned to his house on november 2nd he still went on to access the account a second time by getting help from the OnlyFans support desk. And again, in defiance of the police order, posted 34 more obscene photos and videos. On October 22nd, 2022, he got fined 3,000. Yet, yet, for some reason, we view as banning OnlyFans from certain countries. Like, Singapore doesn't. It's like, and nobody bats an eye. Where doesn't he move? Um, I think there's some sort of um complication. If you were born in Singapore, it's not easy to, like, move out of it. I, I had a friend from Singapore and she had a brother and even though they lived in another country, he still had to go into conscription essentially. It's very like it's very strict and um Yeah, you can't really leave that easily. It's hard. Especially when you don't have like butt tons of money dollars for transmitting obscene content and was sentenced to three weeks in jail for defying the police orders. He served his time and on November 9th, he made a TikTok video announcing his release and return to freedom. He outlined his plan to focus on his firstborn and also to return to OnlyFans, but without the Wait, illegal they have a child? In the video, he said Damn. that prison wasn't the best experience. His firstborn arrived in March 2023 and in a classic content creator fashion, he's been entertaining his fans with his new fatherhood role. It's full of wholesome content. For instance, in one of his TikTok videos, he's seen trying his wife's breast milk for, for this guy's a sick fuck. Hire him at Blizzard right now. For cereal. Yes, that, that, that wholesome family channel content. Going forward, That's really we hope nice. that he learned his cool. lesson on Thank running you. an explicit OnlyFans account in Singapore. And, I mean, you could always leave Singapore and just go to another country. Nah, it's not that easy, but still, I, I get it. Selena Powell. Some people get in trouble to gain pow, clout. Pow. And clout is a good way to stay relevant. One such person is Selena Powell. Yet! A Miami-based OnlyFans model. Yet! Damn! Yet! Who has built herself a reputation as a, quote, black widow for making claims about her yeah, alleged fake sexual yet, escapades but with yet. rappers. There's a lot to talk about with her criminal past, but let's just start with the most recent one. In 2021. That's a lot of tattoos. Holy shit. 
Hawa was arrested and charged with habitually driving on a suspended license. The arrest was made on Monday, March 8, 2021 in Miami after she was caught making a right turn without using the blinker. The police were actually willing to let her go with a warning, but then they proceeded to arrest her after discovering she was driving with a suspended license. She was taken to jail and in a classic I don't care fashion, the next day on Tuesday morning, she tweeted, I went to jail again, LMFAO. Her license had been previously revoked in Colorado. Why was it revoked? You She's may ask. crazy, well, unsurprisingly, bro. Unsurprisingly, it was because she had been a traffic offender in that When you're trying to day drink, but all your friends have kids. This is a perpetually like party girl kind of like thing going on. I knew a girl who had a sister that was like this, an older sister. Where they were always completely like, oh my god, all my friends, they have kids now. I can't go out and party. It's like, ah, bro, you need to stop and reevaluate your life. Like, I know you don't have to have kids, but like, slow your fucking roll. State traffic. I bet her cats are kid kids. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. These kinds of people who day drink and do like partying all the fucking time, they don't own animals or the animals are very much abused, like neglected. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's sad. Violations aside, a year earlier in May of 2020, she'd been involved in an altercation with Tory Lanez over claims that she had messaged him on Instagram and made fun of his hairline. As bizarre as that sounds, it led to a police incident report after Powell claimed that Lanez, together with his rumored girlfriend, Kaylin Garcia, had accosted her at the Miami condos where they all stayed and caused her- Your friend is telling you a story, but you're arguing with your toxic ex through email. Man, she is a boomer physical harm. Boomer. It's also very evident that controversy is in her nature, what given that before on Tory email, Lanez's, she had made several false claims against other individuals for clout. Among her most controversial stories was when, in May 2018, she appeared on DG Academic Stream and confessed that she lied about being pregnant with Offset's child for a whole nine months. In the interview, she said, once again, there's no baby. Get over it. Suck my dick. She also lied about being paid $50,000 by Offset to get an abortion. Powell has also been arrested many times before. On December 29, 2018, for instance, this she got arrested for crazy. different crimes after Bounty hunters caught up with her at a hookah lounge in Colorado. The crimes included shoplifting, evading the police, and traffic infrications. She had outstanding bonds worth of $61,000. Also, in June 2022, she was arrested for violating probation terms. She had been mandated alcohol and drug tests by the court after a 2015 arrest, where she was a getaway driver in a theft. Surprisingly, though, she got released in July of 2022. She was, however- Money talks, bros. Money talks. You get released early if you pay your if you pay them off. Were arrested again on May 1st, 2022 for skipping a court date among other violations and got sentenced to 2 years in prison. Her court documents show that she was eligible for parole on March 24th, 2023. And now, let's head on she to an crazy. interview with an OnlyFans model. Like I said in the intro, she is part of the 3.2% of OnlyFans. She That's that ain't shit. 3.2% ain't shit. She has 400,000 followers on Twitter, and she's actually a subscriber of the channel. I found her on Twitter, she would just reply to my tweets, and I figured, wait, I'm making a video on this. This would actually be a really cool interview. But yeah, make sure to support her. Her ad's gonna be in the- Wait, 400, did I hear that right? 400,000 followers on Twitter? Did someone fact check that? Interview, and I really got nothing else to say. Let's head over. Who the fuck follows, like, OnlyFans models on Twitter? Oh my god. Yes, 400k. Okay, I didn't miss here. That interview. Hey guys, so here we are at the interview portion of the video, and we're gonna be talking to Luna. So I thought it would be fun. Guys, can we get me to 400,000 followers on Twitter? I need it. I need it. <laughs> to ask some burning questions. I think this will be a nice way to give a sex worker a platform and get rid of some stigma. We have our first question. How old are you? I am 20 years old. And how did you get into OnlyFans? And how old were you when that happened? Oh, so I got into OnlyFans when I was about, I, it was one month after I turned 18. I Do you guys know the fetishization of people when they turn 18 and then instantly doing an OnlyFans? Yeah, there's like a, there's like a thing surrounding that. It's like, oh my gosh, you hate 18? Yeah, I'm gonna do it only fans. in the back of my mind, like when I was 17. But that is so weird. That is so weird. You have only fans in the back of your mind. It's called spawn camping. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, I really like went with it when I was 18, and for my first year, that I kind of have this sus sneaking suspicion that. 
she probably did things under the table. D do you know what I mean? Like, how do you have OnlyFans at the back of your head when you're 17 and then not do things before that? Or, or, or like, think about doing things before that? Yeah, I can't, obviously I can't confirm it, but like, I just have this suspicion. I, I am allowed to speculate and think for myself. It was dead, but once I was um at a different point in my life, I actually needed the money to sure. like, you know, get my first crib. That's when I started taking it more seriously in my second year. So you're actually top 3.2%. Is that the actual statistic? 3.2%? Yeah, I kind of moved like between like 3% and 4%, but... You fell off. Moved. No, I'm playing. What? <laughs> okay, so when you say that <laughs> it was only a month after you turned 18, you weren't thinking about a 9 to 5 or you just went straight to sex work? Oh, that's a good ass question, actually. So I actually did have a nine to five at the time I was working at for a daycare center. Whoa, and, that's um, a crazy transition. Like daycare <laughs> to OnlyFans? Yeah. I was you were working at a daycare center and all you could think about when you turned 18, it was taking pictures of your butthole. Yeah. Mm, interesting. I was, Interesting. I was working with elementary school kids. Yeah, I had a nine to five at the time. I was just focused on that. I st once I started my own time, I was like, hey, this is like some good Jesus passive income. But I still didn't take it serious for whatever reason. I still had a limiting belief. Like, I got to work hard for my money. So that's why I had a... Money wise is good, but like, I mean, she's clearly happy, chat. She's clearly happy. Like, okay. How can I like work smarter, not harder? That's when I started for real. Smarter? I don't know. Maybe easier? Yes. Like posting more. Could be way worse. Imagine making it a family business. There were twins working together and a mom and daughter duo among other things. Yeah, there was a guy who filmed his mom. Hey, some people, for some reason, are really into staring into another person's chocolate starfish. I'm gonna pretend I ignore that. On OnlyFans, like promoting <laughs> that whole starting a Twitter and all that glam and shit. Speaking of your Twitter, I'm sure it was a slow and steady rise, but I noticed that on Twitter you got 400,000 followers. That's a. Your newest obsession, 20. Asian by stoner petite sex addicted lust for goddess 18 plus only dm me for promo yeah yeah a crazy ratio <laughs> compared to your instagram where you only have like a thousand i understand you you recently made your instagram but that is a wild ratio. That so, is kind of wild. What if she's but botting like hundreds of thousands of I don't know, man. Five hundred thousand. How much do you think she would charge you to get a promo on? Uh I actually don't know. I've never looked into it. I I, I know you're being sarcastic, but I, I I just don't know what the fuck the benefits are of being promoted. It's so weird. Oh, I'm gonna assume <laughs> Twitter is probably the best form of promotion. Yeah, you got that right. Once I started my OnlyFans and started taking it seriously in the second year, I was looking up YouTube videos and shit. They was talking about Twitter. And Twitter is definitely the only, like, sex worker safe platform other than Reddit. Reddit yeah, and now we have fucking stupid ass OnlyFans bots spamming my fucking replies as a fucking non-lewd VTuber. Madara is, like, talking about going to Japan and, like, having fun and eating ice cream, and there's just, like, ass and bio boobs and bio like shut the fuck up it's your fault reddit is confusing that's why i love to stick to twitter and twitter you can navigate through that hole so easily there's communities for sex yeah, workers hole. there's other sex workers posting the same type how are you non-lewd i don't post my ass on the internet you dumb fuck jesus christ because i make a fucking dick joke every once in a while doesn't mean i'm fucking lewd you dumbass the, like similar content and we all support each other that's how i grew so quickly that's on Twitter. how i started from zero followers in one year i had i ended with 
three hundred some shit k. Damn near four hundred k. What? Speaking of the community, have any? How do I pay four hundred thousand dollars for this? Oh my god! Any threats come from this job, and when I say that, I mean harassment, stalking, doxing, blackmail. Oh, that is a good ass question because let me get into it. There's a whole. I'm sure she does get harassed because she's posting her butt on the internet, so people feel entitled to like harass her over it. I don't think that's correct either. I don't think she deserves it. I don't. I don't. She's that's horrible. Iceberg for this shit. And <laughs> let me get to the tip of the iceberg, bro. There's moments where your content will get leaked, or people will steal oh, your content. Yeah, they be and selling it. They be reselling it. Yeah, and they be trying. They try to say some fake ass shit. Like they use your content, right? They steal it. They try to hide the watermark if there is one, and they'll be like, "Message me for forty dollar FaceTime or forty dollars." I mean. Yeah, and people steal. Do you guys remember um the person who stole Shy Lily and then put it behind like a casino gambling game and it had thousands of like views and it was people thinking that it was Shy Lily and then it take it took like fucking like a month for uh them to take it down. Yeah, someone like took her model and it was like a loop, a gif. And it was just her bouncing around and looking happy, and it was just gambling promotion in the background. Yeah, like it, it, it happens everywhere. I mean, it's not exclusive to like OnlyFans and stuff, but I mean, porn is kind of easy to get a hold of, I guess. Dollar meetup, like, bro, that shit is so fake. Like, it happens really, really often to so many sex workers. Even to me, when I only had 2,000 followers on Twitter. Moving down to the middle, there's people who will straight up DM me. I want to take advantage of you with my friends. Straight up creepy ass motherfuckers. This one guy trying to DM me to buy, and he was time wasting, so I blocked him. And he messaged me on another account. I also blocked him again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He messaged me on a third account. Same person. He's like, Block me again and watch what happens. And I posted it in a sex work safe community. And this girl comments like, yeah, he sent that shit to me too in my DM saying oh that he's going to hack me if I block him again. And just straight up. I had a guy that spammed me for my Snapchat in my on one of my TikTok streams where I was playing a game or something. I think I was playing Hearthstone. The guy unironically spammed me on five different accounts. Was it three, four or five different accounts where he was like, just what's your snap? What's your snap? What's your snap? And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're just like, you're literally 12. Harassing sex workers is just really not cool, bro. Nah, he, that boy is a cat for real. But that's just the middle of the iceberg. I'm like moving down to the deep abyss, bitch. The dark underwater shit. Okay. You will run into straight up. I don't know if I can say this. I've gotten an instant where someone asked me for a custom video, right? And they had a whole script. I ain't even DM. Oh my god! Yo, I actually don't think she's lying. Could you do a 10-15 video of you role-playing my- <gasps> Them first. They just sent me a whole script. What they're like- f they're A minor. They said that minor. in the script? Yes! They're like, hey, oh my like god! My sister. Can you please act out this and this? Sexual things. Nah, as nah, minor. nah, nah. Straight to jail. Chop his balls off. And I'm like, dude, that is Chop so fucking disgusting. Chop his balls bro. off. And there, I've gotten two right other people now, like that too. There's this one other person nuts. that straight up admitted to me, like, hey, I'm. A if I saw. A <laughs> I <laughs> PDFs files. I mean, you can't even repeat it on YouTube. I'm gonna f them. You know. Death penalty. Look at the shock on his face too. He's like. Uh, and that was bro. so disturbing. That's one of the most disturbing things that I will run into on Twitter or sex work in general when oh my people gosh. will DM me those horrible things. It's something people wouldn't even think that would happen to sex workers or just shit like that, but there really be those creepy ass motherfuckers. The self admission is crazy. For real, how are you bold as hell admitting to my DMs that you're a? I trust me, I report. Oh my god. Bro wrote out a whole book. That been cooking for That's a long what time. That's what I'm saying. It's not even like, oh, I want you to be a fucking like a, a little girl. He wrote an essay on what to do. That is beyond fucked. That person should be executed. Reported all of them. That's like the dark side of Twitter and dark side of like sex work in general. There are some creeps looking for like some creepy ass shit like that, and you gotta stay far away from there. People seem to not take sex work seriously or look down upon it. 
Why do you think that is? Balls. And what do you have to say against that? Personally, I believe that everybody and their mama and their granddaddy and every. Get the FBI, the CIA, and the IRS on his ass. No, now. I'll do it myself. I'll, I will, I will, I will do the deed. I will kill him myself. I would say death by tail, but that's too nice. Do the blood eagle thing. Everybody, bro, be blood fucking, eagle. Almost everybody be fucking. And the difference Not between me, guys. I just want to make that clear. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, boy. But. <laughs> <laughs> the difference is between like sex workers and non-sex workers is that we just get paid to fuck we just get paid to do sexual shit people really look down upon that because oh she's like being sexual and she's open about it and she's showing her nude body to the world that sh what do you mean that's called prostitution it it's the oldest job for women in the world I mean, okay. Should be secret and whatever. And like, I feel like it's just super deep. We need Bobbit more than ever. What's Bobbit? Deviant in our society, or that's how it's viewed at least. And I just really feel like sex worker is definitely one of the oldest jobs in like history, bro. Yeah. And I don't think that true. stigma, that okay. stigma and shame is never going to completely go away. But no. I really hope people understand like sex work. Personally, I stay at home. I don't go out do meetups. To people who do do meetups, that's great for them. I don't judge them. There's definitely tons of areas of sex work. None of them should be categorized into like degrading terms, like a prostitute or something like that. I just feel like it's totally unfair. Okay, you said there are some sex workers that do meetups? Really? Yeah. That's fucking yeah. dangerous. I thought that was illegal. I don't know. I've never looked into it, obviously, but, like, I thought that was illegal. I don't think you can do that on OnlyFans. It's fine. It is? Is it? I don't know. It is, but... No, I'm not talking about the dangers. I'm just saying it's... Technical called escorting. I don't know all the nuances. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. Depends on the country. I thought it depends on the state or something, too. Because there's some states that's more lax and other states are not. Yeah. It is. it is dangerous. I would never consider it personally, but I do see people on Twitter offering to do meetups. Since you are that's at the scary. top percent. That is terrifying of Honest OnlyFans, to God. did the amount of money shock you when you started seeing like your OnlyFans blow up? Bro, yeah. When I wasn't taking it seriously, I would get like one subscriber a day and I was already like, oh, someone subscribed. And how much <laughs> were they paying? I mean, that's kind of why I feel the best streaming. When I had 10 viewers, I'm like, oh my God, someone subbed to me. Oh my God. Mostly for just like the subscription fee, and that was fifteen dollars a month, and it still is. But mm. I have do, like do you get like a month. is there like a percentage split? Because there is on Twitch, you know, you get yeah. Like, so what's the percentage split on OnlyFans? For OnlyFans, it's twenty percent. They take twenty percent okay. from you. Okay, okay. Mm. I'm guessing it's the same amount of time when your Twitter was blowing up. Your OnlyFans is also. It's probably because it doesn't cost any money for them to run the website. Let's be real. Twenty percent is probably more than enough for them. Damn, but on the Twitch, yeah, but Twitch is a streaming platform. OnlyFans is not a streaming platform. At least I don't think so. Yeah. So gaining traction. So you saw that yeah. money. You're just like, is this is this real? Yeah, I was like, I didn't even know this could even be a thing. Like to make money from this. Because when I first started, I was mostly making money from buyers on Twitter. I you can stream on OF. No, yeah, but the bandwidth is probably like minimal. That is minimal compared to Twitch. Twitch has millions of users. You're also streaming to a bunch of people. Like It's completely different in terms of an infrastructure thing. I'm just saying it's pretty rare and it's also not a common thing. Yeah. I was selling dick race. I was selling like solo pictures. I was sending videos. I was selling a lot of shit. I never would have thought. And it was mostly like dick race. Like really? literally me typing do, what I think about their dick. Do they be sending it like soft? Bro, sometimes. And <laughs> <laughs> what? It's scary. I'm not going to lie. I feel like some of them yeah. have a humiliation kink. They want you to make fun of it. They want you to like say Oh, it. oh yeah. God. Even ask me straight up like, can you humiliate me? Can I have a, it's called a, a small <laughs> humiliation video and they would oh ask, my god bro i can't ask for that damn yeah nah, girls be saying of, that to like, me and i don't even have to pay them <laughs> to answer your question off of that um i was really shocked like when i saw the total amount of money because nowadays i make 
month on average from Twitter, from OnlyFans, Fansly, all my stuff. Yo, she's pretty honest with him. I'm, I, I'm impressed. She's actually being really transparent with him. It's combined. I'm gonna censor that. I don't want to say. I don't want you to say that on the internet. I'm gonna censor that for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank it's you. too personal. Like, never yeah. tell me how much you make. That's a great amount, by the way. I just censored it, guys. Yeah. You guys didn't hear it, but that's fucking crazy. Here is yeah. a burning question. I know a lot of teenage boys ask. I was one of them, and that question is: What if you get older and you have kids and your kids end up seeing that? What if they look oh, up your name go. out of curiosity on Google and they see here you is. sucking dick, or they're they have a bully at school and their bully's like, "Hey, look, it's your mom sucking dick." What do you do? What's the plan? You Pepe KMS. <laughs> Dude, if, if my school bully did that, I would fucking be so sad. Honestly, personally, I have no fucking idea. I have no parental oh skills God. unless it comes to my dog and cats. Personally, I do not want kids ever. Like, that's just a personal choice. I decided that way before sex work. Like, I do not want kids. I don't think I would be happy being a mom for a fucking like human child but besides that i do know there's hella i mean she at least to be fair she doesn't have kids yet sex workers who are moms who are grandparents who are like familiar like figures in people's lives and i don't know i just feel like they just don't let that get to them that's not really like bound to happen in a way i just feel like it just wouldn't happen but it does get to them man it does been 10 years down the road and we'll see I don't know, man. I feel like it's then. cold. You know, I wonder, I, this is something I texted you last night. I wonder if statistically, a lot of OnlyFans workers don't plan on having kids or like sex workers in general. I wonder what the statistics are. To the struggling young people out there, would you recommend sex work? Yes, absolutely. I, I uh -oh. recommend sex work a thousand times. Uh-oh, she's one of those that makes a m bunch of money and because... It's the same thing as, um, you know, referral codes. They have the same thing for OF. If you make a lot of money, you have referral codes for people, even though the average monthly earning for people who do OnlyFans is like $120. She's one of the referrals. Yeah, don't do OnlyFans, man. It's, it's a scam. It's like one in a million. It's like streaming. You have to either really, really want it or I don't know, like, it's just so, ugh. Yeah, the head of the pyramid. That's right. It's like a pyramid scheme. You still need a lot of small fish to, like, keep it going, you know? It's like a person who wins a lot of money by gambling, then decides to recommend trying it for other people, ignoring the risks and potential consequences. Yeah. I mean, again, Twitch is kind of the same deal in the sense that you have to give up everything to go full-time streaming, which is really fucking scary. You just can't recommend it. Like, I can tell you to go and stream fucking, like, me, but the chances of you making it is probably not that high. You could, you could ruin your life. You could lose your job and not be able to get another job or the same job when you quit, and then you fail, and it sucks, and you ruin your life. Obviously, it's not the degree of OnlyFans, but still. Percent because I was dead ass like slaving at a fucking like farm, like working days on end, like fucking like bending over, hunching over, doing actual fucking labor. That was just not it. I was not making good money from that at all. Like yeah. I'll be straight up, I was not making a livable wage. I had to figure out like how the fuck can I work smarter? And OnlyFans was definitely that outlet for me to like she build several bending income over. From doing sex work. It is definitely yeah. a great way to make yeah, money. She there's do so do many that. people that be like, get a real job, bro. Like that's there's people in real life and online telling me. That. That. Dude, I've been making quap in my room, and little do they know that they're telling me get a whole job like that. Yeah. Like, I've been making the most money than I ever have at a 9 to 5. I do want to set a reminder that this is something you guys have to think about when you're 18. If you're a minor, yes. around, don't be thinking about this. No. Fucking fuck. But she just admitted that she was thinking about it when she was 17. Yeah. Focus on your schoolwork. This is when you are an adult. I want to reiterate that. This is an adult choice. Make sure you are a grown ass woman or man or they before you decide that. Last question on my list is, would you like some free Earl? Bro, yeah, give me that free Earl. <laughs> I want that Earl and Earlette tea. That shit is so fucking cute. Bro, I was Aww, prepping that in my porn. Awesome. Y'all <laughs> see that? <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I looked- I mean, it, it was 
was an interesting interview. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of cool that she likes his content and just like was very transparent. You decided when you were 17? Yes, she started thinking about doing this when she was 17. Or to seeing that on Twitter at some point. Everyone go to EarlDoesn'tExist.com. Buy that shit right the fuck now. Y'all go buy tough CDs and cassette tape, Let's bro. Go. He signed that shit personally. Promo. That shit's about to sell out. So yeah. get that motherfucking shit before it's gone. Exactly. It's the last yeah. of the ear candy era. We're moving on to a different project. So this is it. I have your socials right here on the screen. Everyone, make nice sure to go guy. support her. Go follow her on Twitter. Good follow content. Twitter is free. You, you guys can do that one. And Instagram. And make free sure to go check out her OnlyFans. Of course, if you're 18. Be yourself. Be positive. Learn how to let go. I don't Learn how hate to have her fun. I don't know and what just, you want to yeah, say. That's it for the interview. Let's head on to the outro. Outro. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys yeah. liked it, leave a like. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Let's check how the room looks with the lights on. All right, y'all. Is that better? Let me know in the comments. Y'all like bit, yeah. the light I like, better? I personally I like this. don't. I, don't I do. It's like the topics on my channel. That's it for this video. Go watch the podcast. It just came out today. See you guys next time. I Clabbers. Update.